In this video, I'll be showing you how to fix Warzone 2, saying that your GPU driver version is out of date. So as you can see here, I've got the message on my screen, so I'll be showing you how to fix this for an NVIDIA graphics card and also an AMD graphics card. So the first thing that you need to do is just close down this message. Okay, so we now need to right click on the start menu icon and you then need to go to device manager. Next, you need to expand display adapters and you now need to figure out what graphics card you have in your computer. So as you can see there, I have two different options. I have an AMD Radeon graphics, that's because my processor has the AMD Radeon built into it, and I also have the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1660 Super. So I'm gonna show you how to update both an AMD and NVIDIA, like I said. First, I'm gonna show you how to update an NVIDIA graphics card. So if you have an AMD graphics card, click on the link in the description below to skip to the AMD part. So the first thing that you need to do is click onto the NVIDIA website that's in the description below. You will then end up on a page that looks like this. So you now need to select your product type. So as you can see here on Device Manager, I have a GeForce, which means I need to select GeForce. Next, I need to select my series. So I've got 16 series. So I know that I've got 16 series because it's the two first numbers at the start here where it says 1660. So next you need to select your product. So like I said, I've got 1660 Super. So I've got that selected. And then you need to select your operating system. I'm using Windows 10 64 bit, so that's fine. And you then need to select Game Ready Driver and then you need to select your language. Next, you need to click on search. You now need to click on download and you then need to go download again. So once the file has finished downloading, go ahead and run the setup file. You will now have a window that looks like this. You need to press OK. OK, so you will now have two different options. You can either choose to just install the graphics driver only, or you can also install GeForce Experience with the driver. So I actually enjoy GeForce Experience, so I'm going to install this with the driver. So once you're happy with the option you selected and you agree to the terms, press agree and continue. And you can now choose if you want to do an express install or a custom. So if you are having issues with some of your games and stuff, I would recommend that you do a custom install and then do a clean install. So basically what this means is it will wipe all your NVIDIA settings and restore them back to their default values. And it will also remove any profiles you have created. So like I said, if you're having problems with some of your games like graphics issues or crashing, then I'd recommend you do that. However, for everyone else, just go ahead and select Express and then go Next. And it will now begin to install the latest NVIDIA graphics driver. You can now choose if you want to create a desktop shortcut for GeForce Experience if you did choose to install that with the driver. So I'm actually going to deselect these two options and then press close. So that's how you install the latest driver for an NVIDIA graphics card. If you now launch Warzone 2, you will no longer get that warning message. Okay, so AMD users. As you can see, it says that I have an AMD Radeon TM graphics. So this graphics is actually built into my processor. So for me to find out what driver I need to download, I need to actually find out what processor I have in my computer. But if you're not using the graphics on your processor and you actually have an AMD Radeon graphics card, then it should have some numbers there telling you which graphics card you have. So the first thing that I'm going to quickly show you is how to find out what processor you have. You can find this out by opening up the start menu and then typing in system information. You then need to select system information. And as you can see here next to processor, it says I have an AMD Ryzen 5 5600G. So I will need to download a driver for that processor. So we can now click on the AMD link that's in the description below. You will then end up on a page that looks like this. So if you're not using a processor with graphics, then you need to select graphics and you should then see your AMD graphics card within here. So you can see there, there's lots of different options. So if I was to select the RX 6000 series, you can see there there's a few more different options. So I can then select the 6700 series and then select which one I have there. And once you have selected your graphics card, go ahead and click on submit. So as I have a processor with graphics, I need to select the processors with graphics option. And I then need to select an AMD Ryzen processor. And I then need to find my processor. So remember I said on the system information, it says that I have the Ryzen 5 5600G. 
So I need to select the Ryzen 5, as you can see here, 5000 G series, and you can then see the options there, 5600 G. So I can now go ahead and press Submit. You then need to select what version of Windows you have. I'm using Windows 10, which means I need to expand this option. And we then need to download the latest driver, which will be the very first option. You can see there it says the release date. We can now click on download. And once the file has finished downloading, you then need to run the setup file. You will now have a window that looks like this. We need to click on install. You should then end up with a window that looks like this. If you do, then it means you downloaded the correct driver. So we can now expand additional options. And you can choose if you want to do a factory reset. So if you have been having issues with some of the graphics in your games, then I would recommend that you tick this option. If you haven't, then you can always not choose the factory reset option. So next we want to make sure we've got full install selected. Unless you do want to only install the driver, then that's up to you. But I like to have the AMD software and everything installed with the driver. So I'm going to do full install. So once you're happy with the options you selected and you're happy with the terms and conditions, we can then press install. It will now begin to install the latest AMD driver to your computer. You will now have a window that looks like this, so you need to go ahead and click on restart to restart your computer. And that's it, you will now be able to launch Call of Duty Warzone 2 and you will no longer get that warning message saying that your driver is out of date. So I hope this video helped you out and you enjoyed it. If you did like the video, click the like button below and if you'd like to see another computer sluggish video, then click that subscribe button. If you do subscribe, then I will see you in the next video.